What's up YouTube? Welcome back to our channel Trendline Forex here with another video this week, uh, this Wednesday to be more specific. Again, we're going to be talking about gold. That's what we do every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. We give you our point of view on the market. We're talking about various instruments, euro, dollar, gold, um, the crypto instruments as well, uh, mainly Bitcoin and Ethereum. But if you don't want to miss out information just like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And by the way, leave a comment below this video, share this video as well and you've got an actual chance to win a free subscription in our premium channel where we send out um you know trading setups daily video analysis not just on a few of the instruments but pretty much all the instruments that you see on my watch list here on the right hand side of the screen okay so anyways uh let's have a look at these instruments let's see where gold is currently trading where it's gonna go next and do we have any setups right now okay now this is the daily time frame we're gonna start off from the higher time frame just so we can see what the actual trend is right and obviously price is moving inside of a downtrend and this is still the case however i feel like we may see a pullback pretty soon now we've already got a pullback and then it looked like price is about to continue inside of the main trend However, I feel like we're going to see another leg to the upside, which means we're going to see a continuation of the pullback in the short term. And then at some point, we should see price moving back into the main trend, which is to the downside. So basically, what I'm expecting is something like this, where we see price pushing higher, coming to around 1755, maybe slightly higher, maybe slightly lower. And then that's where we're going to be looking for that reversal. And basically, that's when we're going to be looking to trade to the downside again. Again. Until then though, for those of you who are more aggressive or if you don't mind trading the pool box, then you can look for buying opportunities inside of this move, right? And so that's why we're going to drop down to the lower time frames now and see what kind of opportunities we currently have. So this is the 4 hour time frame, right? We're currently trading right around 1650 levels, 1647. Um, and like I said, I'm expecting to see a push higher or basically for price to break above that most recent high and create one more leg to the upside, which is going to be the continuation of the pullback, all right? This is exactly where the pullback started, and that's where price is currently trading now. We've already got a higher low, and I feel like we're going to see a higher high as well, okay? Remember, the levels that we're going to be looking out for are right around 17.55. Now, if you look at the four hour time frame, or in fact, let's go back to the daily time frame. Okay, gonna zoom in a little bit. So, what we have here is a downtrend price and perfectly reacted of our 1600 1615 area right here and this is this was an area that we talked about even before the market came all the way down here all right so we saw that perfect reaction then we had a move to the upside which was the first initial leg of the pullback price then retested the trend line and it pushed lower okay so right now we are in the middle of nowhere now like i said we are in a downtrend so we're i'm pretty sure we're going to see price breaking below the 1600 level and continuing lower but before that are we going to have a continuation of the pullback and then you know the continuation down or is price going to push lower and break below that level immediately so like i said i think there's a much higher probability that we're going to see a continuation of the pullback and this is why i'm expecting to see higher values here all right so again back to the four hour time frame as you can see we've already got a, a retracement inside of this pullback right here um and we have been trading you know sideways for um quite some time now without being able to break below you know this support right here of this previous low and the current structure that we um that we are forming all right so right around here is where i'm expecting for price to turn around and push higher now you're gonna have to wait for uh, some type of candlestick confirmation all right and there's a couple of things that i'm mainly looking for let's drop down to the hourly time frame so we can um, see those even better right now i think there's a couple of ways to enter a trade here if you are more conservative then you want to wait for price to break above some previous structure and then give you entry so let's say we break above 1668 which is this previous high then you can look for um you know continuation higher on the retest even better would be to wait for price to break above 1684 this structure right here 
Um, then you can wait for a retest and as soon as price retests out, you can look for buying opportunities with targets, like I said, 1755, 1754. All right. If you like to be more aggressive, then what you can do is you can potentially find the trade with much better risk to reward ratio. So let's say, for example, you see price coming down here, testing this previous low, which we are pretty much doing right now. If you see that price is rejecting lower levels, so let's say it leaves a long wick to the downside and it then closes, you know, to the upside, uh, you know, above this structure. If you see something like this, a wick to the downside, then the, uh, the candle closes up here, then that's the perfect entry as well. You can then place your stop loss just below that reversal and you can expect for price to continue higher towards the target levels that we just mentioned. Okay, now obviously on the way to the upside, you're, you're going to have a few levels to watch out for. Every structure that price is about to break above, you've got a be very cautious around those levels. So let's see, let's say price comes around 1668. You want to make sure that you're going to see a breakout. Same with 1684. You want to make sure that you're going to see a breakout. Same with 1730, 1735. You want to see that price, price is actually breaking above those levels because if you see some type of reversal, it's probably best to close your trades and collect profits earlier. And that's because we are trading the pullback. Remember, we're not trading inside of a trend. And trading the pullback carries more risk and it takes more experience and better trade management better risk management as well whenever you're trading inside of a trend a, a well-defined clear trend then it's much more easier to make profits but when you're trading the pool box it's much more easier to enter a losing streak and that's why I want you to be very cautious and picky with your setups all right but that's pretty much what we're looking for um like i said i'm expecting to see price rising from around current price levels uh you know we're going to be looking for stops below this structure once we have you know a confirmed reversal here that's when you can start looking for buying opportunities so that's all make sure to leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this setup do you currently trade gold yourself what other setups what other pairs do you like to trade and check out all the links in the description below this video follow us on social media i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching please don't forget to watch our last two videos where you can find more valuable information Check out our channel for more trading related videos. I wish you all a successful trading and I'll see you next time.